Hi friends! Feels like it's been ages. Um, I suppose it has been a couple weeks, three weeks. Um, I'm here today to do a Currently Inked, the first one of 2024. Um, and right now I have a very restrained five pens inked, but I am going to ink a sixth pen. I have to figure out what color though. So usually I do these in the back. This is my new Hobonichi Weeks for the year. I had to put, I had to get this one, right? We talked about it when I got it. I hope you have a wonderful day because I always say that. I don't even love cats that much. The art is just okay to me, but I do hope you have a wonderful day. Now the sun has come out from behind its clouds, so we're going to be all thingied. It's fine. Also, do I even know what ink is in each of these pens? <laughs> Probably not. We don't care. How about if we do like one a day? Because I haven't done anything here. Why not? Let's go. That's a little aggro, Maria. Okay, here we are, January 1st. It, it's not January 1st, by the way. <laughs> Since this week is past, I'm going to use it. So in no, wait, should we do a particular order? Oldest to newest? Okay, this one. Y'all may have seen me ink this. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't know what's in these pens. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> no clue. Currently inked for January. This is <laughs> mystery. This was one of the ink fan inks. I'm pretty sure. I think. <laughs> and we're professional. Okay. <laughs> Twisby, Eco, Transparent Blue with a broad nib, and the ink, well, uh, I totally know what this is. I don't know what it is. I'm going to go thing, okay? Okay, I figured it out. It is Diamine Nightfall. Because when I saw this, I was like, yes, please. I mean, right? I couldn't have been the only one. It's beautiful. I'm taking up too much space. That's all right. I'm taking up as much space as I need. Don't be so hard on yourself, Maria. Okay. That's pin one. Let's do the pin next to it in here. This one. Y'all, I feel like I don't even know what my pins are anymore. I don't know what the inks are. I don't know anything, you know? I hardly know how to write anymore. I write every day. So this is the little pin designs. Yeah. Little pin designs with a medium nib and this is a um... ah 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 I know what one this is well I just got that song abracadabra in my head do you know would you remember it abracadabra I want to reach out and grab you this one right yeah it has to be yeah oh interesting appropriate I should have done this one first early dusk I am mine Early dusk. Okay. Then what do we have? It's really warm in this window now. Then I have 
this one. I'm gonna have to like shake this around for a bit and think about it, let it think about what it's done. And you know, if you, if you have the sink, you know what it is. Cause this is not shimmer. This is me potentially regretting my life choices to put it in this pen. What, I'm gonna put it in a different pen? I keep doing is like trying to clean the feed by like squishing the ink up. And then I did that the other night and I like blobbed a big old blob of ink in my journal. I'm like, whoops. I'd show you, but it was my journal. Okay, look, that's going to be good enough. Look at it all. It's never good enough. It's like life. Real talk with Maria. Okay. Um, oh, what? Right. Twisby Eco Rosso. I want to say Rosso because, you know, but it's Rosso. And this is Pannonia Strigoi. So this is the one that has the um, red pigment in it. It's black, but like, you know, it's got a little something else going on with it, which is why it's in a red pen, I told myself. Then we have... <laughs> Monteverde Zero Ultra Black. Pretty sure I got this a medium nib. Medium. The ink in this one. Diamine. Writer's Blood. So this was a really dry writing pen and I thought, haha, well then. I'm going to give you an ink that just wants to like hustle out of the pen. And it was a great choice. And then we have, because I inked this up for like, this was the first pen I inked this year. And I felt like classy. I think this was the first pen I inked this year. So this is the... Mommy 2000, medium nib, and the ink is Sailor California. I wanted to start the year off with a pen and ink that I love. So I'm trying to now decide the fifth, sixth pen I want to ink is my Santini Italia. And I was like, oh, I'm going to ink it with this. And then I thought, well, maybe I should see what I have inked to see where I have openings. But realistically, no, I'm going to just ink it with the ink, I think. Wait, oh, no, I accidentally rhymed. Ugh, I hate it. Okay. So I believe that all the rest of my December colors that would be appropriate are shimmer. Yeah, so that's a no-go. I'll be honest also, I just got a new body a section for my purple, transparent purple eco, and I kind of want to ink that with rays of glass, but mm. So the ink that came to mind, can we stay on topic, Maria? Who says what the topic is? This is like my always pairing. Wait. It feels like these are the besties. The meant to be besties. They're not quite the same color. As always, teal does not show up right on the camera. It shows up as more blue. This is actually more blue than the pen. I don't really have an ink that color. 
but I don't want to go darker. Because I already have like California and that's pretty dark. So I'm tempted by Perth, Con Perth Kerno Cove because if we get into these turquoises, which for some reason, they are not identical. Shut up. Who says they are? Um, yeah. Do you think we're going to do Perth Kerno Cove? And I think the other thing I'm going to do is take all of these. By the way, there's Stragoe. I don't know if you can see the red in there. I want to put the all the ink vents together somewhere. I'm going to get more of those. Okay. Now we have to find Perth Kernel. Okay, here we are. Perth Kernel Cove. This is from Pure Pins. See, it just says Perth Kernel there. And Perth Kernel there. But if you go to their website, it's called Perth Kernel Cove. Which, like... Greatly frustrates me. Okay, so here's the thing. This pen has been giving me grief. And so, okay. So I wanted to like ink it up and see like, is it still giving me grief? So what I'm, I'm gonna fully ink it. as best I can. There's a good amount of ink in there. Probably at least a milliliter. I don't know, you probably can't see it through the barrel, but I can because this bright freaking sun, thank you. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about the sun. I love you, sun, please. I take back what I said. I have to find my rain pants though, unrelated. But uh, here we are. My partner, has been teasing me and like mimicking me for my videos and he does a really good job which is actually really sweet because that means he, <laughs> he's watched enough that he can do that <laughs> okay what are we doing okay right this is santini italia libra Fifth Avenue, probably. I'm going to go with a medium. Pure pens. Pores. Perno. Cove. I think this is a nice lineup. You know what it's missing is like pink or something. You know? You know. You know, and it's not just me. It doesn't necessarily have to be pink, but it wants something like, Phew! but maybe that's for next month. We'll see what happens. So here's my currently inked. Let me know what you think. Do you feel like, look, you know, I don't really dig the like warm earthy colors, but so some of you are like, you're missing that, but I have writer's blood, you know, ish. Um, what do you think is missing from this lineup? Would do you are you bothered by the fact that I have a black ink and a red pen? Let me know. Look at these beautiful. Look at these two next to each other. You know what I'm missing is that raven pen, except for the raven pen is curved. So fortunately, that kept me from buying it. Because you know what, flat tops or slightly pointed tops forever. Team team, not cigar shape. Um. <laughs> I hope whenever you're watching this, you are having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.